the book is going to want us to be able to do, we're still talking about scientific notation. And we want to be able to go, scientific, we want to be able to go from scientific notation to, I can't talk and write at the same, same time, notation. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we want to be able to go from standard form, that's when we just have the number, to scientific notation, but we also want to be able to go from scientific notation back to standard form. Uh, so we're just going to, I'm just going to do one example of each. Okay, so let's say we have, oh, I don't know, what's a good, no, those are all already in scientific notation. Okay, here's a, here's a fun one. This is in the book, it's on page 40 if you wanted to look at it. But we're just going to convert this number, number 4, into, so we have 570, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 zeros, 570 billion. And we want to write 570 billion in scientific notation because we don't want to write that out. That's huge. So what would this be in scientific notation? Pause the video, try it out on your own, and then compare. Okay, so to write this in scientific notation, we're going to take this 57, and we're going to write that as 5.7, because remember, everything in scientific notation has to be between 1 and 10. Okay, so we can't have 57. We can have 5.7, though. And then we need to know, we know it's going to be 5.7 times 10. What is this exponent, though? So if we start here, and between the 5 and the 7 where our decimal point goes and we're going to just count how many spots we have to go to get to the end of the number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 5.7 times 10 to the 11th power. Um, and that makes sense because a billion has nine zeros, right? So nine zeros, that's nine locations. And then we have two more locations to get past the seven. So 5.7 times 10 to the 11th is the same thing as 570 billion. And eventually you'll be able to start writing your age this way. So I am 5.7 times 10 to the 11th years old. I guess not. Uh, I guess if you make it to 100 years old, though, you could say, oh, well, I am 1 times 10 to the second power years old. I don't know why you would say that, but you could. Or maybe when you're in your 80s, you could say, oh, well, I'm 8.9 times 10 to the first power years old, just for fun. OK, uh, most of you are 13 and 14, so that's like, what, 1.3? We'll just say 1.4 times 10 to the first power. I, that's how you should tell people your age when they ask you. How old are you? I am 1.4 times 10 to the first power years old. Usually if it's to the first power, we don't use scientific notation. Okay? All right. So don't worry about that. Okay, so that was an example of converting from standard form, that's when we just write the number out, to scientific notation. And now we also want to be able to write, start in scientific notation and go back the other way. Okay, so this is an example from page 41. It's actually number 10, if you're interested. You can look on there. Uh, the mass of one roosting colony of monarch butterflies in Mexico. Okay, so they figured out there's a whole bunch of butterflies in there, and they wanted to figure out what the weight was, so they estimated, probably using some form of dark magic. Uh, the weight of the butterflies, and they came up with 5 times 10 to the 6th grams. And what would that be in standard notation? Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure that out on your own and then come back and compare it. Okay, so if we wanted to write 5 times 10 to the 6th in standard form, we are just going to write our 5, right? We could say that this is the same thing as 5.0 right? And when we were, before we were counting, and that's kind of like we counted this way and we got the decimal. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to count this way. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And everywhere we have this 
neat little loop, we're going to put a 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 5 times 10 to the 6 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is 5 million grams. I have no idea what to compare 5 million grams to. I think it would be about the same weight as a roosting colony of monarch butterflies in Mexico. Just if you want to get a good idea of what 5 million grams is. Anyway, that's how you, you're going to convert, and we'll do one more real quick, um, how you're going to convert from gram, sorry, from scientific notation to standard notation. Okay? And then just one more example because most of them aren't going to be just a whole number like this. So what if we had something like 9.99, well, where'd my first 9 go? 9.999 times 10 to the fourth power. Okay, that's scientific notation. Uh, you should pause the video and try this on your own. And we're going to go 10 to the fourth power. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So 9, 9, 9. I see. My pen is doing magic now. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Okay, every once in a while I have this problem, and I don't know why. I'm overworking my computer. Nine, 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 four nines, right? First nine, second nine, third nine, fourth nine. We keep all those nines. And then I had one more, one more jump. So there's a zero at the end of this. So it would be 99,990 would be 9.999 times 10 to the fourth. Okay, hopefully you're getting the hang of this and getting an idea for how this works. Um, I might put up another video with just a couple of examples worked through real quickly.